Hey guys, so this is the very first pressure washer I ever had and I already went through and did everything but I'm just kind of doing like a sample video for people who are having this issue. So at first we brought it out after winter, um, we were having issues with it. I emptied the uh, bowl for the carburetor, cleaned it out, cleaned out the carb and then it started working again. So it's working, it's working but it's trying to put out all the time. So I also installed, a in, well I had somebody install uh, inline fuel filter on it because of the issues with the carb. I was thinking it was all with the carb and so was the guy that I usually take this to work on it but because of the pandemic he's not working on anything right now and I have the time to work on it myself because of the pandemic. Coronavirus, pain in the ass. So anyways, what I found out, what I did the test the troubleshoot is you take, you take the spark plug, pretend the spark plug's in here, turn the lights out, put it against this bolt down here, if you have the same machine or a machine like it and you can, put it against this bolt down here and, and just pull the cord. You'll see it spark or you won't see it not spark. In this case, it wasn't sparking. And from what I see, this is common, like a very common issue. That's why I'm doing a video on this. Hopefully I can help somebody. But for this particular pressure washer, I took the, the um, crap, I took the uh, <laughs> brain dead. I took the freaking air filter off. Um, and then this comes off, allowing you to get to the carburetor. Oh, no, it doesn't, because I didn't take the bolt off yet. Sorry, I'm a dumbass today. Okay, so you take the air filter off. And then you have the carburetor and everything down here. You want to disconnect the kill switch from the carburetor. Oh, it's so much easier with two hands. I'm right-handed. Pain in the dick. Okay, so you got that disconnected. Next, you're gonna have to take this off. You can shove this through here. Just be careful you don't mess anything up. Uh, there's bolts hidden the whole way around it. I had to take the wheel off to access it also. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just went over how we checked for spark. There was no spark. Um, we put a new spark plug in it. We were trying, trying. We messed with the carb, cleaned it out, still nothing. So, I went ahead and pulled this off. And like I said, I already did this, but I'm just trying to show you. This was all rusted. Um, this mold spark plug sorry I got some chickens in the background it's I cleaned it up and it probably would have worked I could just put this one back on but it's like I don't know why not just buy a new one I mean they are expensive just like 50 bucks for this but it's a what if you tear it all apart you put it on put it all back together and it's a what if um I wanted to take this back part anyways because I used a 5 8 on that to take I don't know if you can see it in there to take that off. When in reality, um, 13 and 30 seconds fit a lot better. I kind of stripped that one on the right. I'm gonna regret that later down the road. But so anyways, there's a, a little tab kill switch here. You pull that off from down below. You can see better how it goes on this one right here. It clips in right here. You pull that off and then you take this you just take this out and disassemble it, pulls it out, and when you put your new one back on, take a business card, uh, cut it in half. Literally, that's all the more of a gap you went on there. I put a business card in there, I push this down tight on it, and then I tighten this back up on it, and that's how close you want it to be. That's where you want it to be. And I can't remember if there... Oh, for the cleaning the magnet, this is what I used. I just went around... I'm not going to spin right now because i got a spark plug in it, but I just spun this around slowly and I keep going back and forth until I got it all clean. And also, there's a ground wire in here on this certain mach machine. Make sure you don't miss that when you put the bolt back in or else it'll screw your shit up. Brand new spark plug. Brand new spark plug coil. Brand new fuel filter, inline fuel filter. Squeaky clean carburetor. Squeaky clean magnets. And I can't go pressure washing. So fuck it.
so I had to tweak a couple things. Uh, I had the kill switch on the wrong side of the spark plug, so it's a good thing I took this back off to tighten everything up one more time. Uh, also, I just wanted to run by, this is plastic, so when you're tightening it up, be careful, you don't crack it. You want it to be just tight enough to hold that on there good. So it's all put back together. And make sure it's the whole way up. Now you always want to put it into a water source whenever you start it. But I was just doing this real quick to show you it's working again.